Well, it is time to get started on some body work on this FJ40 Land Cruiser we have been working on. If you guys missed the last video, definitely a must see. We got this chassis completely together suspension wise. We got the engine and transmission in. We are sitting on all four wheels on our coilover three link, four link suspension. It has been a long time coming to get to this point, but we got to keep moving forward. So what we're going to tackle today is quarter panels, maybe the rear sill, maybe rocker panels. We got to cut some rust out and do some body work on this cab. So that's the game plan for today. I think what I'm going to start with is the rear sill. It is 90% gone already. It's all rusted out. So we're going to cut what's left out and then we are going to kind of integrate this into the quarter panels, kind of like it was factory. I'm not worried about making this look factory just because we moved the rear axle back about eight or nine inches so we're gonna have to do custom quarter panels anyway so I'm making these from scratch so I'm not too worried about keeping everything looking factory obviously this isn't a factory rebuild so that being said let's get to work cutting this thing apart cut quarter panels out and we're just gonna I don't really have a game plan we're just gonna kind of go from scratch and see what we can come up with I've never really done a whole lot of custom bodywork stuff so this is pretty new to me but what I do know is it's made out of sheet metal so we're gonna take some sheet metal we're gonna use cardboard probably cardboard slash maybe some paper to kind of get an idea of what we want and honestly it would be really nice to cut all this stuff on the plasma table but I don't think it's gonna be big enough these quarter panels are gonna have to wrap around the back so it's probably gonna be over four feet which is the width of my plasma table so I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to use that I may try to integrate it if I can but like I said I don't really have a game plan so we're just kind of winging it and we're gonna see what we can come up with. Well, we are plugging away here. We got this rear sill all figured out. We got all, it's all welded in nice and sturdy now. I did go a little bit thicker. All this sheet metal is probably 18, I doubt it's 20, probably 18 gauge. I went 14 gauge on this just because the body does mount to it at a couple points. And then there's also a couple more points right here that I, well, the main reason I didn't incorporate it into this is because it wouldn't fit on the plasma table. I'm gonna kind of work around my table just because it's gonna be so much easier. But I just got these little pieces that are gonna go inside of there. I'm gonna weld them in just to capture the other body mount. So 
Now we are at the point we need to cut these quarters out. We got uh, these little patches off and you can see it's pretty much gone down here. So everything here is gonna be cut out. So what I think I'm gonna do is cut it on this edge going down here and then there's another seam inside of there right here. I think I'm just gonna cut at the bottom of that. I don't know, I thought about trying to come up higher maybe i'll I could probably what i probably could do is cut those spot welds out along there and then i could cut it and then my new panel would go right onto there and i could spot honestly that might be easier honestly i could spot weld it in weld it in and welding it on like close to this corner is going to be so much easier because it's not going to warp nearly as easy when you're if you were to weld like in the center down here it's going to warp the panel but welding right on the edge like that it keeps everything kind of straight so that's the game plan let's cut this out and then uh we'll just grab some cardboard and like i said we're gonna have to work around my table so i got four feet of width and another reason i only have four foot sheet metal so we're gonna have to work around four feet obviously wrapping around here all the way to the front is more than four foot so i'm probably gonna wrap around maybe to the center right here and we'll just have to do a weld and grind it out maybe put a little body filler in that and then continue the front down
Well, I have decided I want to kind of raise up this whole rocker or this whole bottom of the cab, basically. I want to raise it up about two inches. Now, there is a few reasons why. I do want to build a set of tube rock sliders for this. I do think it'll look really good. The stock steps, they're not bad, but I think tube will look a lot better. So I want to do that. And I feel like with how low this body was, it'll just kind of be hanging down. So I kind of wanted to cut it up for that. And another reason, I want to raise the OEM fenders and that's going to raise the bottom of the fender and that's going to create a big ugly gap between the bottom of the fender and the bottom of the cab so i figured i'd raise the fender up about two maybe two and a half inches so cutting this bottom up two inches is going to get me really close to the bottom of the factory fender once i raise it up but i just decided i think it's going to look a lot better it's going to be a lot more functional cutting this bottom up a little bit so we are pretty much ready to go on this driver's side we're going to i want to build this one out fully get the quarter panel get the rocker in and then we'll jump on the passenger side and kind of replicate everything on the passenger side that we did on the driver's side Well, I thought making this bend was gonna be a lot easier. I'm having a hard time getting this thing bent around and being able to tack weld it in place at the same time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this thing back off. I only have a couple tacks holding this rear of this quarter panel on, so I'm gonna cut it off and we're gonna make a little makeshift radius bender. Now this is just gonna be out of some, some square stock, some angle iron, and just probably just exhaust tubing I have laying around. It's gonna be very simple, but I think I think we can make something work. I mean, this is only 16 gauge, so it's not gonna take a whole lot of force to really bend it. But like I said, trying to bend this thing by hand around this corner and tack weld it with only two hands is uh, it's not working very well. Well, after wasting all day now on this piece, I've decided this is not gonna work. You can see it's just, it's not, obviously it's not bending it very straight. So what I did is I bought a slip roller and I think I could probably straighten this one out. If not, I can just cut another one. So I'm gonna do it right. It's obvious, I mean, this isn't, this isn't working. I need a roller. So I bought one, it's gonna be here in a freaking week, but either way, 
we got a little bit more work to do. Um, I did cut out this side here, this side, just because there is some uh, rust down here. That side was pretty bad. I'm gonna do this side too. So let's cut that out. And then uh, right here, you can see on both sides of those mounts, need some work and then we still have to pull this rocker off so we still have some work to do in the meantime but oh man it really bugs me I, I i'm seriously i spent probably six hours on this thing making the tool trying to get this thing to work right i mean i got i got the right bend in it but it's just bending it like this it just puts creases in it so i don't like it i'm gonna try to just flatten that back out when i get my roller in i'm gonna try this one again and i think running it through a roller will probably smooth all that out i mean it's not super bad but i know for a fact if i were to put that on after paint i would not like it at all and i'd, I'd be cutting it back off so that's the game plan let's cut out a bunch more rust when we get a roller in we'll do these rear quarter panels
Well, we have made some really good progress. I got both rocker panels all done. Now, while they aren't perfect, they're definitely, definitely good enough for, you know, the tools we had. There's low spots here and there. All this, I mean, I bent all this with a hammer. So really can't complain. Um, couple little scars from just grinding it. But I mean, if I, I don't know if I will, but a little bit of filler will fill that right in. There's one low spot right there, which I didn't want to grind too much. That's just a just a light coat of filler. Other than that, we're looking really good. So I'm happy with that. And now we got to jump on these rear quarters and we got our slip roller in. Now this one, this is a 24 inch, so plenty for what we need. This piece, I don't know, it's probably like, 15 inches or something so we are i'm gonna try to straighten that out you can see uh before this is what we got so honestly i might throw this in the roller upside down and see if we can straighten that out with the rollers and then we'll flip it back over i'm not really sure if we, if that's even possible um, but either way we need to straighten this out and then we need to run it back through and i'm hoping it'll kind of smooth out these little uh these little creases in it so um i've never used one of these uh basically from my research is these two knobs here get your pinch right here between these two rollers you can see it moves it up or down there like that and then this back roller right here is what actually sets your bend radius so um you'll just tighten these up bring that up the higher you have that the tighter of a bend that you'll have so really not too complicated you just get your metal in there and then roll it around like that bend it um i'm going to well actually have this one marked basically the start and end of the bend here and here so that we know kind of where to put it in the roller when to crank up this back roller and we'll see if we can make this work so this slip roller is from a brand called vivor now if you guys haven't heard of vivor you gotta go check them out they have a ton of tools that are very very well priced it kind of reminds me of harbor freight which harbor freight some of their stuff is obviously not good but they have a lot of decent tools for a really really good price i mean you price out one of these 24 inch slip rollers from like grizzly or some of those higher end brands they're almost a thousand bucks this thing was 200 bucks shipped to the door you cannot complain with that and also i teamed up with them to bring you guys some discounts on some tools if you guys want to save some money i got a code save more five i'll put that up on the screen for you it gives you a five percent discount on all their products and i will have a link to their website as well as a link for the slip roller you guys can check this thing out like i said 200 bucks this thing is dirt cheap it's gonna work amazing for this project and i'm sure i'm gonna be using it on a lot of other projects in the future it's just a nice tool to have around the shop well we got both quarters done this is the first one that we kind of try to straighten back out and redo and turned out pretty decent uh, and then this is the other one that we did from scratch from a nice straight panel um it's not i mean it's not a thousand percent perfect there's little tiny kind of ripples in it from i guess the roller somehow still put just a little bit of a crease in it but i'm not that worried about it it looks good enough i think with a, maybe a little bit of massaging here and there maybe some sanding i don't know there's uh, i'm not really sure how you'd straighten that out but either way for this what we're going for it's not a show car i mean obviously not a show truck so i think that's going to work this one's all trimmed up we still got to fit this one uh, i just had to grind the back i cut it long because it's kind of hard to calculate the entire bend so i just cut this about a half inch long so we got this side good to go we'll get that tacked in and then this side we just got to trim up a little bit we get that tacked in and then we can fully weld our entire quarter panels together and we'll be done with our rust removal
Well, all said and done, this thing is looking freaking amazing. I am so happy with how those quarters turned out. They look really good. That one little rounded cut I did at the bottom here, I think made a big difference. I didn't really like that sharp edge when it's kind of inside that corner. It just looks a little bit weird. So other than a couple low spots right here, you can see this whole area is kind of low. So a little bit of filler along there. Other than that, we are looking really, really good. Everything turned out really nice. So when I go to get some paint on this thing, we'll do a little body filler right there, a little body filler right there. Other than that, I'll probably just do a little skim coat over that seam. It's a little bit of a wave there, just a skim coat there, and then a little bit on the rockers. There's obviously gonna be some body filler work, some sanding involved with any kind of metal work. So I'm happy with it for uh, my expertise level. I think it turned out good. Well guys, that was a lot of work. Probably about two weeks worth of work to get the rockers, the quarter panels, basically all the rust dealt with on this thing. We got a ton of patches everywhere. So I think it turned out sweet. Obviously we're gonna do some body work on it, but I just wanted to have a base with no rust. I want to get all the rust cut out. So next video, we got to figure out something with front fenders. I'm gonna start with trying to make the stock ones fit. I'm gonna try to raise the stock fenders. If that doesn't work, I'm gonna scratch that whole idea and might just make some. I really think the stock fenders kind of give it that FJ, the classic FJ look, and I don't want to take that away from it. I still want it to look like a Land Cruiser. That's why I haven't like gone really crazy with the body. I love the look of these Land Cruisers, so I, I want to keep that old school look to it. Well, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Why don't you go smash that thumbs up button, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you in the next one.